Hello, people out in YouTube land. This is Rob with Blocks Gaming, and welcome to another episode of Defect, episode 8, I believe. And before we continue on with our campaign, I would like to introduce to you another new feature from Three Phase Interactive. And this was actually out in the last patch before my last episode. I just hadn't read all of the patch notes, but it is here. They have included a challenge mode, and it is a welcome addition to the game. What happens quite often with a game that's scripted like this is that once you're done, you probably pack it away in a box and you never touch it again. So it needs to have a reason to come back to it. So like I said, this is really welcome and I think will add to the longevity of the game. I don't know that it's enough yet. Um, what I mean by that is there is no multiplayer here yet. And I don't know if there is plans for multiplayer, but I tell you, it would be the difference between something that, okay, it's fine, we'll play every once in a while, or maybe play to something that could be absolutely explosive and an absolute staple for everybody to have a copy of because at some point people are going to want to battle each other and build ships and I'm thinking like not only just one-on-one -on -one fights you know like maybe stepping it up and saying having some kind of tournament mode or league you know just you know go crazy with it but I, I I know that's a lot to ask for especially from an indie company and you know I can't imagine how much work that would be to put together something like that so I mean high expectations but at the same time that sure that would be really amazing anyway so let's talk about what is here so there is four different modes there is core whereas you can just fight ships ship against ship and it it is uh, ships of the same core and it basically randomly chooses ships based on uh, either just your friends or whatever you have local on the computer. And I think if you select friends, it chooses your local computer as well, which is weird. So because when I go load and I load one of my ships from my list, it this is this is one of my ships. So even though we had friends selected, it chose it chose out of my ships, which is interesting. And local also chooses out of my ships. So I'm wondering like when we get and, and then, then there's all. So I assume that's I think I think they just need to refine this. Whatever, it's it's in work in progress. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. And you just flip through here until you find a ship that you want to fight against. And I think you have to f defeat it five times, or I don't know. It's progress zero to five. I haven't actually followed through with that. But anyway, it's here. It's there. It's a thing. <laughs> and then we have survival. And I did go into this one and play with it a little bit because I wanted to really understand it. And so what happens is, of course, same deal. You can choose either against uh, anybody on your friends list or just whatever, just local ships. And it randomly chooses a ship design. You go and you fight him one on one, and then you get a wave two, which is two ships, a wave two, three, which is three ships, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, you collect you collect money, and then you can repair your ship and continue on. So yeah, you're not at a total disadvantage because you can repair your ship fully. And it's just a skill thing, right? So cool, glad it's here. And then you have manual where you can just pick your ship against whatever chip you choose right so whatever was on your list whatever or whatever's on your friends list i assume i i think this friends thing is a work in progress because i it's not coming up with my friends but then i don't know how many friends actually own this game yet it's still an early access right and then of course you can choose to do whatever mission you want in the campaign even though you could I think it, first of all, it only allows you to do missions that you've finished or you have opened up to you or available to you in the in the game so far. So yeah, I mean, that's good. And now I, I don't know what, why that's different from just going into campaign mode. Now I'm assuming that eventually they may even have more than one campaign. So that is relevant, I guess, or even better. What if there was like workshop and you could build your own campaigns? I wonder if that's in the works too, because that would be amazing where you could build and trade campaigns and people could challenge them. Uh, I think that would be very, very cool. I would really enjoy that. And I'm sure, of course, the community would love something like that. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of something else they're working on the game. And it's more, so now it's just more than the campaign already. That adds some longevity. So anyway, let's continue on to our main game. <laughs> we are back. And uh, yes, last time. So last time, yes, we totally locked out on Deadly Dragon. No. No, it was it was skill. It was pure ult. No, it was totally luck. It was totally luck. But I, I still think we did fairly well. I think I did better there than I did on the mission. Second mission. It was amazing. It was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. And it all worked out. It was amazing. And we also scanned the deadly dragon, which gave us the super science torpedo. But I think that's for capital ships. And I don't think we have access to capital ships. I'm assuming that I'm going to need a bigger core for that to be able to use it. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm I'm just honestly, I'm just saying stuff. And then we after that, we tried replacement world 
world, which was really interesting. That's probably the most interesting mission I've seen so far. We were able to place down turrets, but the turrets weren't firing. But on that note, it looks like perhaps Three Phase Interactive might have fixed that since our last episode, because it looks like they did a patch that effect that fixed targeting for turrets. So I'm excited to try it anyway, and I have an idea of how we might be able to deal the, deal with this mission. So let's go build a ship. <laughs> Ever make up stories about the ships you're designing when you're in a game like this just just make up stories just random stories you know like why why is a ship designed like this is it because we stole it from an alien race and we adapted it or was it a civilian ship that we adapted or you know did we just do we just we're just crazy and we design our military ships in crazy ways so actually this one's this one doesn't seem as crazy as a matter of fact I see it as more of a civilian ship and I was trying to decide what kind of civilian ship it would be because it's kind of like it's got this weird cone thing where the and then the crew quarters here and then another crew quarters up top and I, I was like you know it, I, I bet you it was originally like a cargo ship or then maybe like some kind of colonial transport or something and then and then of course because you can't actually name your ships yourself you have to actually click through and find a name and because I found JJ50 Toilet Express and I'm like oh my god it was a sewage transport ship that's been adapted for battle <laughs> And that explains two things, why it's so unstable and why it's fairly quick, because they got to get the poop from one place to another very, very quickly. That's very important. You need to get to poop, the poop to the right place, right? So <laughs> that's a thing. Anyway, so uh, yes, let's talk about the ship briefly and then we'll go. We have two chain guns and notice they're kind of broadsided. They should be able to hit a nice wide range. As a matter of fact, they sh I think they do 180. So they should be able to fire in front as well as on on the sides of the ship, which is new. We, have, we haven't had any side, like broadside type weapons. I wanted to use a different type of weapon. I wanted to use the the broadside cannons, but they're just way too expensive right now. I'm not going to worry about that. So, But I did use one unique weapon that we haven't tried before. The mine layer. It is right here. You can't really see it. But it, the mine layer is um, in the back there. And I figured that's where they used to connect the pipes so that you could push push the sewage into the the other thing and then it would fly away and then explode or something i don't know but you know i, I made up stories but anyway it's good uh so yeah we've got a mine layer on this ship this will be the first time we get to try the mine layer and just so that you know i was just reading this so the mines have a very long life have very long lifespans and do huge damage they creep towards targets so they're tracking which is really cool but an exploding mine is dangerous both friends and foes so in other words if we're in the blast radius when it goes off i think we can fly over them before they go off, but when they go off, um, they can hurt us too as well. So we do have to watch out for that. So I, I think without further ado, let's let's save the sucker. Yes. And let's go. <laughs> All right, and away we go. Let's launch. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, we are defending a station or something, or it's a satellite. No, I think it's a station, but yeah, it's, I love the solar panels. And if they have, they, they reflect things really in a really cool way, which I think is really neat. Like, I'll show you here in a sec. I just, I love, I actually like the art style. The art, I think I've said that before, but I, I really do enjoy the art style. Like, yeah, look at this, when you fly over top of it, look at that, that looks really cool. It looks like, you know, the spotlights so that you can, you know, you're shining the light on, on whatever you're flying over. It's very cool. It's very cool, it's neat. Uh oh, bad guys. Okay, so, oh yeah, we need to test out this mine layer. Um, our butt mine layer. Hopefully this works well. Oh, it, is that a mine? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's drop one. Let's drop a couple. Oh! Oh, it shoots out the front! Oh, man! See, I thought it shot out the other side. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh, no! Oh, whew. Whoa, okay. <laughs> So we need to stay away from the mines as they explode. That is the key. And I, I'm wondering if maybe they actually hurt the station too. So that's kind of a bad thing. So let's try to keep them away from the station as much as possible. <laughs> that may be tricky. Maybe easier said than done. But if they kind of pass through a certain area here, they're going to be in big trouble. Ah, oh, yeah. See, isn't that nice? Oh, very nice. Very nice. And uh, they last for quite a while, but... Yeah, they see, I think as they darken there, they, they start to run out of juice, so. Oh, so close. Actually, I really like them. The mines are cool. I like them a lot. 
Um, I was dying a lot to the mines during that mission a long time ago. <laughs> the mission that we actually got these mines, um, yeah, I was dying to the mines a lot. Right, my chain guns can actually shoot the bad guys here. We are not doing very well actually taking care of the bad guys very quickly. Um, we need to, I don't know, we need to do better. So let's actually, I'm going to operate the engines and let the AI manage our weapons. And we're just going to use the chain guns. And that way we're always launching mines too as well. I, I you know, because I suppose I could just hold down the button for mines. I don't think it really, oh, uh, kill that thing, kill it. No, don't let it, oh man, why didn't the chain guns attack it? That was silly. I know we got damaged. Okay. Attack! Uh-oh. We are... Man, we are not doing well at all here. Come on. Kill that sucker. Come on. Why is the mine, mine layer not even working? Okay. Or it is, but not very well. Okay. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Ah! Okay. There we go. Um, oh, see, we didn't take a tractor beam. Uh-oh. That's a bit of a problem. Ah, these mines. It looks like the mines are actually coming for me. Um, our station can't be doing that well, but I, we need this money. We need this money badly. Uh, this is where... Oh, yeah, it looks like we've taken some wing damage or something because our steering is all messed up. Our stability is all messed up, actually. More so than it was when we started. Uh, repair that, repair that. Hull, repair that. We're never going to, we're not going to do very well on this mission if we don't make some money because I think the key to this mission is making the money so that we can actually put down the... I think what we need to do is we need... To, oh, wow, the station's like toast. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so... Oh, we just died. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, two things. We need to get a tractor beam on this vehicle. Man, that mine layer is so, like, it uses up so much power and stuff, too, as well. So do the chain guns. So, back to the drawing board. Be right back. Okay, here we go again. We can do this. We can do this! And uh, after this, <laughs> if, if we die after this, uh, you know, I might make some modifications and stuff, and then we will just keep... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I want to win the mission. That's what I want to do. I want to win the mission. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do if I fail because we're not going to fail. We are going to succeed. Uh, I have to think like a winner. We're getting, we got to think like a winner. Okay, we can do this. Okay, so we are going, we're going to lay as many mines as possible. I'm trying not put them on the station because I think that's a bad plan. But like right as they come in here is a really good plan. Uh, the mines, they take a long time. Like that launcher is very slow. I do like the mines though. I love that. Oh, that's cool. No, guys, run into the mines. No. Oh, man. Did we miss with every single one? Oh, that blows. That actually blows. Like, super blows. Oh, not on the station. Fire. Fire the chain gun. Why is the chain gun not firing? Fire. There we go. Maybe I'll control the chain gun because, yeah, the mine, mine layer seems to be just constantly firing, which is good. That's what we need. Um, come on, guys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Chew them up. Yeah, it takes a while for the chain gun to take these guys down. I think in missiles or something might actually be... Oh! They blew up the station. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so back to the drawing board. Uh, build. Hmm. I think the mine layer is the wrong choice. We're going to get rid of the mine layer. Be right back. You know what? I didn't want to resort to this, but I know the torpedoes are going to do great here. I just I just feel like they're going to do great, and, you know, it's basically the same weapon loadout as the last ship. It's just a different ship configuration, so whatever. <laughs> it, it looks different, so we're going to say it's different. All right, so there we go. The Toilet Express, modified sewage ship. Away we go. And uh, done. And then I know, I know we can finish this mission and do this mission with our current loadout. Okay, here we go. We can do this. I know we can do this. We've got torps now. So we should be able to hit them at range before they get close, maybe? I don't know. I think we'll do better here. Um, I'm wondering, you know, I was debating on whether or not to do just a chain gun ship. The downside to a, just a straight up chain gun ship is that I think it would be really hard to destroy your own chain gun ship. You know, like when you have to fight it later? So, <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, think, I think the torpedoes are the way to go. And I think, I think we're going to do well here. We're going to do well. We're going to do well. Uh, let's see how many of these guys we can kill as they come in uh let's just aim uh we we don't want to be we don't want to be uh directly in front of them because they will launch torpedoes as well uh oh i think those hit uh maybe not looks like this guy's actually coming after me almost oh just a barely barely missed okay let's hit this guy 
Uh, we're not fast enough. We need to go faster. Faster! There we go. Perfect. Blast them. Torp them. Nah, see, he's faster than torps. Yeah, they're faster than torpedoes. That's a problem. I wonder if missiles might have been a better choice than torpedoes. Because, yeah, if, they're, if they can outrun uh, the torps. Ah, you know what? Chain guns. I think we should do chain guns. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, we... Ah, I don't know. I don't know how to make this work. Ah, he's lost an engine now. He's toast. He's toast now. Fire! Fire! Fire the chain gun. How come I can't hit him with the torpedo? I can't hit anything with the torpedo. Seriously, there goes this other engine. Are you dead, finally? There we go. We got some money. Money! All right. Uh, they are just blasting the station to pieces. Man, this is tough. This is super tough. There we go. Nice in the face. Let's go collect that money. Oh, ah. Uh, uh, maybe as... Oh, yes. <laughs> the money's orbiting me. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see if we can get this guy. Even the chain gun. Let's let's activate the chain gun because then we can do more damage with it. There we go. Perfect. Sometimes the torpedoes, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe the chain gun is better for this if, if we keep them activated. Nice hit. Uh, as long as they can't move like their toes. There we go. Nice. Some money. Yeah. Okay, so we've got... We can now put a turret. There's one turret. Maybe that wasn't a great placement. I don't know. I don't know. We could do this, right? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the turret can actually reach all the way over there. Let's get this guy. Blast him. Nice to the face. Ha ha ha. Excellent. That was beautiful. Beautiful shots. Excellent. Uh, one more. Uh, we've got another platform available. Let's go. Let's place. Oh, ah, man. Yeah, let's place this one right here. That we've got our southern border covered. I don't know. Like, so, yeah, I think we saw it firing already, which is a good thing. I, I'm thinking we should have put that one just a little bit closer, but whatever. Fire! Oh, no, we're going to hit his torps. Oh, no, we didn't hit him. Perfect. Nice shot. Actually, that was excellent. Excellent! Ah. Station's not too bad. Ah, we're doing well. I wish we could, I wish we could save. I wish we could save midway. <laughs> the thought of losing at this point. Ah. But, yes, we need to, uh, we can push forward here. We're going to win. Bad decapitation is back. Uh, fire torpedoes. That should traject properly. Oh, no. Maybe a little off. Ah, well, that's all right. Let's hit him with the chain gun. It's getting close here. And then blast him with that chain gun. There we go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Let's do the same with this guy. Chain gun. Chain gun. Uh, you can also shoot out the torpedoes, so that's a thing. I mean, that's a good thing, right? Uh, ah, I think we took out. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. All right, uh, we have we can down, put down another platform here. Let's do. Oh, we've upgraded the defense platform to a Mark II. So let's put this guy right here. There, that should be good. Yes. Oh, it's a Mark II. That's wicked cool. Uh, yeah, we can shoot out these torps too if necessary. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, what? Okay, so I'm going to fast forward <laughs> until we get to this point again, just like we usually do. All right, see you soon. <laughs>so we've made it to the next section uh okay so those are heavy torpedoes take out those pirates before they can fire all right so we've got two advanced platforms and two regular platforms i think so that's cool I, that's cool i don't know what the difference is i think the advanced ones have of course more firepower which makes sense i don't know if i play some well or not it looks like they're kind of scattered all over the place it looks like the station kind of moved around a little bit but uh, you know what? I, I, I found that I was using the chain gun more than... Uh oh, 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 whoa, 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 that was close. Okay, so um, the torpedoes, apparently they have shields, and only the torpedoes can penetrate the shields. And these are fairly slow-moving ships, so we have to destroy them before they get in and get in range. So a couple salvos. Oh, that was a clear miss. Oh, that's no good. Okay, so yeah, let's just uh, blast them from behind then. There we go. Nice. Wish I could go in reverse. I wonder if I put an engine facing the opposite direction that I could go in reverse. That would be kind of cool. I hope the... Uh, they don't have any rear-firing weapons, so that's that's good. Ah, money. 
Ah, so we can place down more platforms. That's cool. I don't want to get caught in the blast radius. I think that's a thing. So let's let's avoid that. Now they are pelting our station. So I think he's in range now. Oh, ah, see, <laughs> I, we need a reversing engine. Ah, why is that not a thing? Hold on, it might be a thing. Uh, so yeah, it didn't look like we got damaged. This is the last plat. Okay, so we've got. Oh man. Oh, those those were hitting and hitting hard. Okay, so there's some guys coming from the east now, northeast. So let's and I've got one more platform available. So let's. Oh, I think we're damaged. A little bit of hull, but oh, uh, it seems like we're damaged, but I don't know. Let's get this turret down. Come on, right here. That'll do. Whoa, 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 whoa! There we go. Turrets away. Chain gun away. Let's blast that guy. Get him. Whoa, okay, so these guys, okay, here is the big guys. Ah, that's a problem. See, these torpedoes, I'm wondering, can we, how easily can we take these out? Uh, not at all. Some of them are aiming for me. Some of them are actually aiming for the turrets, so that's good. Uh, looks like they've they've decided to attack me. That's, that's not a good thing. But, I mean, it's kind of a good thing because it keeps them off the station, but, um, yeah, we can't take as many hits as that station can. <laughs> Okay, come on, blast them! Come on, oh, oh man. Doesn't look like we're gonna, t we didn't take damage last time from the, uh, from the blast radius, so uh, yeah, that's okay. We can just kind of sit here, get close and nail them. Come on, let's get them. Come on, guys, get them. Oh, so close, is that it? Is he done? Is he done? Oh wow, we took some serious damage there. Our engines are toast. So let's just keep firing, keep firing. Oh man, come on! Oh, we can't we can't actually control our ship right now. It's out of control. We are out of control, guys. The crew, no control. There we go. Crew! Crew was dead. The crew was dead. <laughs> come on, fire! Oh man. This is brutal. This is brutal. I'm not actually I'm trying to just get our ship repaired here because uh, maybe we should just fire. Let's just fire. Kill him. He's right now he's working on that turret, so that's good. That's good. Um we must have got hit by a torp or something. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, I think we did get damaged a bit from the blast radius. Oh, here's our... <gasps> we made it here! <gasps> oh my god, we have to win, we have to win, we have to win, we have to win. Oh, I wish I could auto... I wish we could save it here, but we can't. Let's do as many repairs as possible. Um, oh, we could lure... Ah, oh, we could lure our old guy, the, 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 the vector, into the turrets! <gasps> How brilliant is that? Although his torpedoes may also cause damage to the station, though. So we do have to watch out for that. Uh, although I don't think we placed our, our turrets very well. I mean, we survived, right? Where is he? He might be always to the south. Okay, so should we go after him? Yeah, let's go after him. I think we're faster than him. I think that's the one advantage we have in this ship. Otherwise, I think we have the exact same firepower. Like, identical. Although, I don't remember. Did he have a butt-firing missile? It might be a butt-firing missile. Looks like he's going for the station. Didn't expect that. He's going for the station. Okay, so, and he's got a front-firing cannon... Maybe rear-firing torps? I don't remember. Either way, I think we can take him. I think we can take him. With the chain gun alone, we can probably take him. Let's just blast him with the chain gun. Take out that engine. Yes, come on, a little bit more. Oh yeah, he's definitely using his torps here. Yes, oh yeah, there we go, we got you. I have you right where I want you. <laughs> there we go, as long as... There we go, we won! Guys, oh, as long as that the torps don't kill the station. Ah, we did it! We've done it! We've done it with the JJ50 Toilet Express. Sewage Transport Limited. Cooperation. <laughs> I love it! I love it. Absolutely fantastic. What a fun mission. That was actually really good, and it didn't take like a thousand tries. It only took uh, four or five tries, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, good job! I'm very. I'm patting myself on the back. I'm saying good job to me. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Um, Yeah, but anyway... <sighs> We've won. We're the most powerful ship in the system. We're taking the ship and ruling the planet. See you around, Captain. Is it... Do we just keep hiring the same guys? Exactly the same guys? Like, they go back to the prison camp? The same prison camp we were hiring? Like, it's just a big ruse. Why do we keep hiring out of the same prison camp? That's ridiculous. All right, so, what have we got? Ooh. The SS... Fo oh, no. What is it called? The SS Photon Stream Max. It is a standard skill weapon component. I think it's a tracking laser. Yeah, the new SSN heavy phaser turret with a 90, 90 centimeter electri electric nanomax under lens, 125 millimeter gross output and twin fan system for smooth even destruction. 
<laughs> Sorry, Terminator. Uh, anyway, whatever. So it, uh, it's, it, it does a lot of stuff and shoots stuff. Damage per second, six, range 90. Wow, that is... Uh, that's that's substantial. I think the chain guns is 50, so 90 for a laser is pretty good. Reload, one second, tracking three, mass 10. Awesome! Uh, tons of power, tons of crew. There's no way I'm going to be able to put this on ships because it uses too much power. There's no way. Ah, we need, we need better cores. Okay, and another circle armor. Man, I want cooler looking. This looks cool. I like this. That looks kind of like oh, we can make an X-Wing. That looks kind of... Oh, it's a torpedo. What? A tri-stage torpedo. Standard scale weapon component. Torpedo is a very long range. It's a new kind of torpedo. <gasps> Sorry, I got excited. Torpedoes are very long range weapons that can do a great deal of area effect damage. They are generally fairly slow, though, and don't maneuver quickly. So they are best used against large, slow targets. Damage 41. Reload 10 seconds. Range 330. Speed 22. Ooh, that and power 10, crew 5. We can totally use that. I knew I want cooler I want cooler armor pieces because I'm bored of the ones that I have and I want better cargo pieces because I'm bored of them or not cargo crew pods because I'm bored of the ones I have too it's hard, getting harder and harder and harder to adapt them into newer designs anyway so yeah there it is we've done it we've done it and we made some money again yay okay so we will see you next time guys I hope you enjoyed this episode of defects see you next week take care